Applying to jobs in 2024 is brutal. You take the time to look through all these jobs, you customize your resume, you hit apply, and then you wait, often to hear nothing back. Which is why in 2024, I actually recommend reaching out directly to hiring managers and recruiters. And while a lot of candidates do this, most of them are doing it wrong. I've been in recruitment for almost 15 years. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do so you can reach out to the right person and communicate it effectively to get yourself the job interview. Let's go. The reality is so many people are applying for jobs online today that you might be a perfect candidate and you might hit apply and you still might not hear anything, which is why so many people are actually reaching out. But there's a right way to reach out, there's a wrong way to reach out. In today's video, we're going to cover a few different scenarios and then we're going to cover the messaging to teach you exactly how you wanna reach out in order to be effective. Now, we're gonna go with LinkedIn. Most companies are posting jobs on LinkedIn, and LinkedIn is a great place to actually apply. So we're gonna cover how to reach out to these recruiters, to these hiring managers, to these organizations on LinkedIn. Now, there are two basic scenarios you need to be prepared for. One, the scenario where the job poster is actually listed, and then two, the scenario where the job poster is not listed. Okay, so let's start when they are listed. Now, I'm gonna pop up an example right here, and in this situation, it's actually really easy. You go find the job you want, and then listed under the job, it's contact the job poster. And you actually can see, this is the person who receives resumes when you apply. This is a person charged with recruiting on it. This is a person who's ultimately going to do the first round interview, and this is a great person to reach out to. Now, not every single job that you find on LinkedIn will have this, but when they do, it completely makes it easy for you to identify who you should be reaching out to and to reach out to them. Now, we're gonna cover the messaging in a minute, but first I wanna talk about the other scenario because you might go online, you might go to LinkedIn, you might find a job and then there's no poster there. There's nobody who is the person who is posting the job. When that happens, it's okay. What you wanna do is you wanna click on the job then you actually wanna to go to the company and click on the company page. Now, once you're on the company LinkedIn page, you click under people, and that'll actually bring up all the employees who work for this company who have a LinkedIn profile. Now, if they are a recruiter, they are absolutely going to have a LinkedIn profile. Most of the hiring managers and HR people will too. What I recommend doing here is trying to identify who is most likely to be involved with this role. If it's a very large company, it is going to be challenging because there are multiple people. So you might just need to reach out to a few people, be polite and get directed towards the right person. Now, if it's a smaller company, they might only have one recruiter or one HR person, in which case that is probably the perfect person to reach out to. You can also reach out to the hiring manager directly. If you're a mechanical engineer, look for mechanical engineering manager or engineering manager. If you are an accountant, you can look for the controller or the CFO or so on. You know who you report to, but that's the person you wanna reach out to. It is so much easier to actually get an interview if you can write a compelling message to this person showcasing that you're qualified and interested and instead of just being one of a, of a handful of qualified people who have been thrown into an applicant tracking system who may or may not actually be viewed. Okay, so now that we've covered those two different scenarios, let's talk about what the messaging should look like. Now, first things first, one of the things you need to do is add them on LinkedIn. So I would add them as a connection. Most people are going to accept it, but feel free to put a message in there if you want. The message could be something like, I've really enjoyed researching your company and I've been impressed, I'd love to connect. I'd love to add you to my network. Something simple like that should suffice. Once they have connected with you and you are now connections and you can send them messages, you don't wanna just send them a message that's like, hey, you have openings at your company, please help. That's not a good message. I've actually, as a recruiter, had people send me um, a message saying, I'm interested in your company, please let me know what roles I would be a good fit for. If you do that, no one is going to respond to you, most of the time. Some people might, but that is way too broad. When you're reaching out to someone, you wanna let them know that you're interested in a specific role. Now, in the description box, I will actually put a template that you can copy and paste and insert the different you know, specific items into it. But generally speaking, you're trying to accomplish a few things um, with a template like this. One, you're trying to say, hi, I, you know, my name is Ben. Um, you wanna express interest in the role. You want to demonstrate that you're a good fit and you wanna have a call to action. You basically say, you know, if you're the person who is recruiting in this role, I'd love to talk with you um, about this position. What is the time that's convenient for you? 
And if you're not the person, would you be willing to help me and point me in the direction of the right person, right? So greeting, expressing interest, expressing role alignment, call to action. If you're the right person, I'd, be, I'd, I'd love to chat with you about this role. If you're not, if you could point me in the right direction. And there you go. Most people, they just send the message to the wrong person. They're not specific. They don't demonstrate that it's worth the person's time to actually connect with them. But if you do these simple things, you can absolutely circumvent the application process and find yourself talking to a real person much sooner. Now, let's say you do that, you interview with them. How do you know if they actually like you? This part can actually be really confusing, which is why I made this video here. This video here is nine signs that an offer might be coming. Nine signs that they like you, nine signs that you are going to get the job. There's no reason to be confused. I lay it out quite clear over here, so I'm done here, but I'll see you over there.